He would rather be referred to simply as Bob. But every morning when he sits behind his desk, Bob Colimo knows he is much, much more, having signed up for the responsibility of leading one of the largest companies, not only in Kenya, but in the East and Central African region, hailed to have single-handedly transformed communication and money transfer services in Kenya and around the world. This buzz, one that has in the over 10 years seen millions of subscribers break territorial borders to get on board, resulting in billions of shillings in annual profits. A history that on the 1st of October 2010 was handed down to Bob Colimo by the former CEO Michael Joseph. So who is Bob Colimo? It's minutes to 6 a.m. when we first meet Bob Colimo at his personalized home gym in a routine that he has followed for 15 years now and one he attributes to a fitness that defies his age of 53. By militiamen from Ethiopia. But if you're fit, you know, if the blood circulation is running, then you think quicker and you do tend to have a much more balanced approach. <laughs> He has no personal instructor over his routine spanning 15 years, having been able to know what exercises work for him with minimal consultation. Can that also be said about his managerial ability and philosophy for a man who has served in the telecommunications sector for over 10 years? I do consult very, very widely. Now, some people might think that I don't simply because I didn't take the advice. But when you, when you consult widely, you do end up at a point where you have to make the decision. It is almost 7.30 a.m. now. Today, one of those mornings, he has no early meetings to rush to, taking time to leisurely catch up with the day's news over breakfast. It's a question you've been asked a couple of times, uh, but one I need to ask again. How is it uh, filling in the shoes of the former CEO, uh, Michael Joseph? You know, Michael did a fantastic job building the company for 10 years. I hope that by doing the right thing for the customer, by understanding the customer, by becoming intimate with the customer, uh, we will be able to develop the right product. And when Bob isn't behind his desk as CEO, he's on the social microblogging site, Twitter. And what is often said about social media, you know, whether it's Twitter or any of the others, it's a conversation. And, um, you know, one can sit in a big fancy office like this one and make pronouncements and tell people things. Or you can engage in conversation. The Safaricom CEO also has a passion he downplays as a hobby, flying. An experience we were able to share, albeit from a distance, and one he says calms him after a week that sometimes brings out the other side to him, all in the endless pursuit for success. At the end of each working day, however, this 53-year-old from Tobago returns home as a husband and father of two, returning to the basics and enjoying the simple pleasures of life, as wished for by a young boy centuries before. Michael did a fantastic job, and I think Bob comes in with something new, slightly different, and I think that will bring the company up onto the next level. No doubt at all that Bob's more than capable for the job dreams of a successful future, the vision he has for Safaricom and its over 16 million subscribers and close to 800,000 shareholders and those he hopes to achieve during his tenure as CEO of the country's largest company. Evelyn Wamboy for Newsmakers.